Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, bonus energy check-in for Gemini. This is going to be for your August, rest of your August. Uh, see what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, work on, outcome and advice. Apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, this could be any replacements because this reading could be about anything. Anything can come up. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post uh, readings on there too, you guys, okay? So tell me about, um, tell me about, uh, Tell me about, uh, who am I doing Gemini? Gemini here. Energy checking for Gemini. Energy checking for Gemini. Bonus energy checking for Gemini for the rest of August 2023 for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini? What does Gemini need to know at this time? Energy checking here for Gemini. All right, we have the King of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Okay. Seems like you guys are going for what you want, basically. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm really getting here is I feel like, you know, you guys are just really kind of like really flowing at this time, going with the flow, going where the wind takes you, where the wave takes you here too. You know, whatever this is, I feel like this has something to do with your work here too. Okay, maybe you're going for something that you want. Maybe you're pursuing something that you want here. I mean, it, you could be really crafty, really good with your hands here. Okay, uh, you know, I, I'm getting the sense that it could be something in the arts here too. You're definitely, you guys are definitely in this like very creative space at this time, uh, Gemini. Let's see what else we have here. What? Okay. Okay. Uh, we have the two of pentacles here so two plus eight is ten pentacles here seems like you guys are hitting the jackpot here okay when it comes to your finances when it comes to your money here you know it seems like there's abundance or that there could be abundance flooding in with the ace of swords here and the high priestess here cancer pisces here ace of swords you know i, I just feel like you're couldn't be more clear about your path now okay you know exactly what you want to do you know where exactly where you want to be what you want to do here with the high priestess here you're just in this energy of really trusting your intuition at this time here you know that king of cups is a very intuitive energy here we have the empress libra taurus here you know whatever you're setting your sights on whatever this might be I, I do feel like it has something to do with the arts and creativity here. I do feel like you're about to birth something new here. But I do feel like also you, you are going to be really, really incredibly successful here. Okay? Some of you guys could be starting a new business or something like that. Okay? Uh, but whatever this is, I do feel like this is going to be long. I do feel like it's going to be hard. But I feel like it, it is going to be worth it here. Okay? Yeah, I do feel like it, it's going to be a bit hard. Uh, uh, you know, whatever this is, I do feel like this is something that you're starting new, where you're really getting into your creativity here, okay, and connecting with your creativity and just creating something here, whatever that might look like to you. Uh, it does have, have something to do with the arts. It could be, you know, painting. It could be sculpting. It could be a fashion designer or something like that. You know, someone here who designs clothing, okay, with the nine of wands here and judgment you know i just feel like nothing will be the same ever again you know with the judgment card here you know you you might have struggled you might have gone through really hard times you might have been hurt by people here or that you've gone through a period of you know uh you know just a long process of perhaps like clearing out your own karma here but i just feel like with the judgment card yeah i just feel like nothing's ever going to be the same again because i just feel like great things are happening here for you uh uh gemini you know with the ace of cups here and the page of cups this could be indication that there's new love coming into your life here too okay let's see 
Let's see, what else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to look out for, work on here for August 2023 when it comes to their energy check-in for Gemini? Gemini, oops. Gemini, okay. Okay, we have the Devil, Capricorn energy here with a Six of Swords. Yeah, whatever sort of like bad toxic energy that you were dealing with in the past here, I feel like you're moving on from it. I mean, you could have dealt with codependency here. You could have dealt with really toxic people. You could have dealt with drug issues or something like that. Or you dealt with people here that had drug issues. The, the, so this devil energy, you're no longer surrounding yourself with this energy. You've moved on from it. So I feel like you've changed a lot here, Gemini. Yeah, you've changed a lot here. With the Six of Swords here, there could be an indication that there's a move that's happening here. Okay, some of you guys could be physically moving away here. We have the Kings and Queen of Cups here. Some of you guys could be meeting your soulmate here. You know, whoever this individual is, this person radiates some sort of healing energy here or that you feel very safe with this individual here, uh, uh, Gemini. With the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Temperance here, Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like maybe this you feel like this person could balance out your energies or something like that or that you just find this person very peaceful and very calm and very balanced. Yeah, uh, we have the Three of Pentacles here in the Nine of Cups. You know, when it comes to the new thing that you're starting here, it's really important for you to connect with people, such as networking here, okay? But, you know, with the Nine of Cups here, I am seeing happiness here. Yeah, I'm seeing happiness here. We have the Emperor to the Empress here, okay? We have the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. Yeah, you know, I, I do feel like you were dealing with a situation here in the past where someone here could have been very controlling towards you or very abusive towards you, and you're moving on from that. I do, I do really feel like there's new love coming into your life here. Yeah, you could be meeting this person through your travels, okay? Or that you have met this person through your travels here. But there's definitely a, some sort of strong soulmate connection here, a st strong twin flame energy here with this individual. You know, I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are definitely bringing this together here or just kind of like creating kind of like a space, uh, you know, kind of like bringing in like a lot of good things in your life at this time. Tell me that temperance here. Okay. There we go. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. One of the things I'm getting here with the Eight of Cups here, I, I feel like you're definitely walking away from the past here. Yeah. You know, I just feel like you're you're definitely, you know, with the Eight of Cups, sometimes that's, you know, you know, that's a representation. You know, it, you know, it means walking away, stepping away from something that's not emotional and fulfilling. But more so, you know, sometimes it could be that you are on some sort of path on a new path here or that you're taking a different path here okay taking a path of healing you know taking a path of you know spiritual growth and personal growth here okay the three of pentacles here and the knight of wands the nine of cups here and the nine of swords here yeah you know i just feel like one of the things i'm getting here you know it seems like you are embarking on something new here you know i feel like it's going to be very stressful you know, but I feel like you're not going to let it get to you. I just feel like you're just going on, going into it head on, like, really quickly, you, you know, and just really going for it here. Yeah, it seems like you, you have, like, mastered a lot here through your experiences and made a lot of changes here. And I just feel like, like I said, nothing will ever be the same again. Yeah, so it looks really good. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.